On January the 31st, 1958, the United States launched its first satellite into orbit. Called Explorer 1, it followed in the wake of two Soviet satellites, Sputniks 1 and 2, that had been launched a few months earlier. On board Explorer 1 was a Geiger counter, strapped to a miniature tape recorder for measuring radiation levels in space. Once in orbit, this instrument, provided by James Van Allen of the University of Iowa, recorded a much lower radiation count than expected. Van Allen theorized the detector may have been overwhelmed, saturated by intense radiation from a belt of charged particles trapped by Earth's magnetic field. His theory was confirmed by another US satellite, Explorer 3, a couple of months later. In fact, Earth was surrounded by not one, but two concentric zones of energetic charged particles, which became known as the Van Allen belts. The inner belt contains mostly high-energy protons, and the outer belt mostly high-energy electrons. These particles come from completely different sources. The electrons in the outer belt originate from the Sun and became trapped in Earth's magnetic field. The protons in the inner belt come from interaction of cosmic rays with Earth's atmosphere. The Van Allen belts pose a threat to small instruments and electronics and to crewed missions. But this doesn't mean that humans can't pass safely through the belts. We just have to be careful in choosing a path that passes quickly through the thinnest parts of the belts. And this is exactly what happened with the Apollo missions. Not only was the exposure time kept to a minimum, around an hour or so, but the walls of the Apollo command module also provided some shielding. A lethal dose of radiation is about 300 rads per hour. On all but one of the Apollo missions, the radiation exposure was a lot less than one rad, over six days or more. The Apollo 14 exposure was just over one rad. There's still a lot we don't know about the Van Allen belts. It's important we learn more because our equipment is becoming increasingly sensitive to radiation, and because we want to know more about where the particles came from and how they were accelerated. For this reason, NASA launched two spacecraft in 2012, called the Van Allen probes. Within days of their launch, the probes found the space between the inner and outer belts which was thought to be empty, was occupied by a third temporary belt. The third belt lasted just a month, but it reappeared later in the mission, when the sun became more active. In 2016, Japan launched a satellite called ARACE to cooperate with the Van Allen probes in studying the belts. In 2018, a miniature satellite called Compact Radiation Belt Explorer will be launched to work in conjunction with the Van Allen probes to study interactions between plasma waves and electrons in Earth's upper atmosphere.